to rip up the dedicated bike lane on University Avenue. I saw a poll that just came out this morning that shows that two thirds of respondents in Toronto agree with the sort of Merrill stuff that I'm saying. candidate Anthony Fury is they're making an announcement about the city's bike lanes. lanes. Let's listen in. But they're against them on main roads. It's causing way too much of a headache and they want to see changes. They want to see a pause to this and the stuff I'm talking about ripping up, they want to see that stuff ripped up. I think part of the problem here is that for too long, City Hall and status quo city councillors, they've been held captive to a radical bike lobby that not only doesn't speak for the regular folks of Toronto, it doesn't speak for regular cyclists. Look, I, I'm a cyclist myself. I've been on some of these bike lanes. I've taken my children on all of them. We love cycling to get to places for errands. We love cycling as, as a leisure activity. But enough is enough in terms of approaching this, like the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many. We have to go in a different direction on bike lanes here in Toronto, which is why if I am elected mayor of Toronto, what I will do, Anthony Fury, is say no more bike lanes on major roads and we're ripping up the University Avenue dedicated bike lane in the name of access to Hospital Row and public safety. I'm happy to take any questions that you may have. I think you would have a different view if this was a warm climate, if we were you know, much further south and, and we didn't have a snow half the year. Yeah, no, it's an excellent point because right now I think people would be surprised to learn how many millions of dollars the city spends on winter bike lane maintenance. Right at a time when we're talking about what are our priorities and I have pledged to be responsible for the public purse in terms of looking after every dollar. So that's an issue too. I mean, the, the bottom line is Toronto is just not the same as, as some of these uh, cities in warmer climates where you just can't be all bike lanes all the time, which is what uh, people like Olivia Chow want to do. If it's up to Olivia Chow, I mean, Toronto's just going to be one giant bike lane. She's already said she's going to tear down the gardener. She's all about the war on the car. And I'm saying, time out. We just can't do that anymore. Where would you propose to have a bike lane? Great question, because I'm not anti-bike lane. And if I become mayor of Toronto, I I'm looking forward to sitting down with stakeholders that include businesses, community groups, and, and moderate cyclist groups, not the radical bike lobby, to say, where should we put these bike lanes? And, and I think people are really supportive of seeing new bike lanes on non-arterial roads moving forward. People just don't want the dedicated bike lanes on major roads anymore. And that's what we have to say no to. We have to move forward in a more responsible way. Would you look at the Young Street bike lanes, which are caught in the top of the gridlock? Yes. A lot of small businesses and community groups are frustrated with what happened with the Young Street bike lane. They called it a pilot project, and you know, there's nothing more permanent than a pilot project. The fix was in from the start. A lot of people did not want this to be made permanent, and it was. So I'm committed to removing the University Avenue dedicated bike lanes in the name of access to hospitals and public safety, but I'm open to having conversations about uh, removing all or part of dedicated bike lanes on other major roads as well, such as Young Street. And like I said, we're going to pause the plans for Bloor Street West, Shepherd, Eglinton, Kingston Road. Want to get people out of cars for environmental reasons and, and more people on bikes. I mean, they don't pollute uh, whereas cars are spewing uh, into the air every day. Believe it or not, the city of Toronto is committed to 100 new kilometers of bike lanes by 2024. 100 kilometers. I mean, that is quite something. So there's already lots of opportunity for cycling, for leisure opportunities, uh, also for getting to work, for running your errands. So we don't need to do it in this way where we're jamming every major street full of more and more bike lanes. I like what you said about winter maintenance of bike lanes. Do you know what the city spends? Oh, it's hard to find out the exact dollar figure, but it, it's millions of dollars that is spent on maintaining bike lanes in January and February when usage absolutely plummets. I mean, the amount of money taxpayers are paying for each individual cyclist to, you know, to have the luxury of these lanes cleared for them that hardly anyone's using. I mean, it, it is astronomical. Thanks so much, folks. And you can go to fury.ca, F-U-R-E-Y.ca to learn more about my plan. No more bike lanes on major roads, and we're going to have to tear down the ones on University Avenue. Have a great day.
Okay, that's uh, that's mayoral candidate Anthony Fury making an announcement about bike lanes in the city if he plans to be if he is elected in the mayoral race. As you heard, no more bike lanes on major roads, and he plans to rip up the University Avenue dedicated bike lane along Hospital Row.